Hi everybody, Melissa here again from Designs by Little B. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make this snap front key fob case. This is perfect to clip onto your purse or key ring to keep up with your PayPal or Square card reader or anything else small you might, might want to put in it. It's about 3 inches by 3 inches and it's got a little loop at the top so you can attach it to, to your purse or keychain using a carabiner or a split ring. You're going to need the key fob design from my Etsy store, designsbylittlebee.etsy.com. It's got six steps. It's just a square shape, and it has no exposed seams around the edge because you flip it inside out. The materials that you need for the snap front key fob are two pieces of fabric for the front, they need to be about three inches by, well, about four inches by four inches. And then you need to press them in half. Press the squares in half with your iron. Because these are going to be the front of your fob, like lips. And so you want it to be a, a smooth edge. So go ahead and press both of those so it will be about four inches by two inches. For the back of your key fob, you need one piece of fabric about four inches by four inches. And I like to press mine in half. I mean, I like to get a longer piece and press it in half as well, like this, just to give it more structure. You need a piece of ribbon about two to three inches long, same as most of my little key fobs. And you'll need a medium to heavyweight tearaway stabilizer. When you finish stitching, you're going to tear away all of this stabilizer and flip your key fob inside out. So you want all that stabilizer, um, you're going to tear it away. So use a medium to heavyweight tearaway for that. Your first stitch to run, your first step, there are only five, there are six steps. And your first one, which I just did, is the placement for the bottom front of your key fob. So you're going to put your pressed uh, half piece of fabric for the front down. You want to put the folded pressed side facing the middle. And put it just at the tip of those stitches. You want to pin it down. I'm not doing that for the sake of time, but you probably want to pin your fabric down. I'm just going to run through this real quick. Okay, so that was the front bottom of your key fob. The next stitch, this is the third step, is going to be the placement for the top front of your key fob. So go ahead and run that. The next step is to place your fabric down and prepare for step number four and you want to place this your pressed fabric with the folded edge facing the middle give the edge about you see you don't want to put your fabric like this where they just barely meet you want to put your fabric where it overlaps a little bit this is so that when you put your snap or your button or whatever you feel like putting in it um, you have some room to put it on there without stretching it forward. So I like to do uh, maybe half an inch. And then pin that down and go ahead and run the next step. Okay, I've gotten in a little closer so you can see the next step better. This will be number five. And if you notice when you're going here, see that little lip of fabric? That's your overlapping so that you can put your snap on it to snap it shut. 
Okay, step number five is the ribbon tack down stitch. Now this is really important and this is why I wanted to make a tutorial. You want to put your ribbon not like this, like most of the key fobs you've done so far. You want to put your ribbon facing the inside. You're going to be flipping this inside out once you take it off your machine. So you want that ribbon to be inside and then it's going to pop outside. So make sure to put your ribbon facing the inside of the key fob. You may do it wrong once or twice, but you'll learn not to do that anymore. So I'm going to pin that down. I like to put mine a little wider on this so it has more of a base. Now go ahead and run step number five. That's just going to tack your ribbon right on down. Now we're ready for our final step. This is the back of your key fob. Now, much like with sewing, you're going to want to put the right side of your fabric down. This, once again, this will be flipped inside out, so whatever's facing in is going to be outside. So I'm using this little mermaid fabric that I really like. Uh, I want Ariel's face on the back of my key fob, so I'm going to make sure to put her face face down <laughs> and make sure that I like the way it's positioned in there. Okay, and I'm going to clip her down. It's probably not perfect, but I've done, I think, four of these today, so I've got plenty of Little Mermaid key fobs to use if this one doesn't come out like I liked it. Okay, now you run that last stitch. This is going to be a bean stitch, um, which will keep your... Um, your project nice and sturdy when you flip it inside out. Go ahead and run that final stitch. Alright, so we've run all our steps and now you're going to take your project off of your machine and since this one is going to be flipped inside out, we'll first tear off your stabilizer. Since this project is going to be flipped inside out and the inside will be um, some seams, you don't have to worry about that ribbon like you do with my other key fobs. You can take it off of your machine, tear off your stabilizer, and just cut around that edge. You have no ribbon to worry about anymore since the ribbon is raw on the inside. See that? So you can just cut right around the edge of your square. Just leaving a, a usual, you know, small seam allowance. And you want to turn your little fob inside out using the corners in your fingers. And look, I did place Ariel pretty well. There she is. Hello. Um, and this is what the front looks like. And do you see, since you overlapped the top part like I asked you to, you now have this little lip to go over so that when you put your snap, your snaps in there, um, it'll just fold right over and snap nicely onto there. And it also gives it a little more protection of your things inside that it doesn't just gape open. Now what you're going to want to do is take your project over to your snap press I've got this awesome tabletop one that I got from Cam Snaps. I had a handheld one for a long time and then I went ahead and made the investment into this one. I love it. You're going to want to put your snap on the inside, on the center, on the inside, and the outer uh, flap of your key fob. So there you have it. This is the third or fourth one I've stitched out and I really love them. I'm definitely going to be putting both my PayPal and Square card readers in mine. I think they both fit. I don't ever use Square. I use PayPal. But yeah, see? You can put both those guys in there and snap it. And now I'm ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You can find me on Etsy. You can also find my Designs by Little B group on Facebook to chat about designs and ask for tips. And until the next tutorial, bye!